outlines. Let's see how to create them in Godot. Now I already have a video about the topic in Unity and if you follow the same logic, you can get nice and simple outlines real quick. But this is a very simple approach and the major drawback is it only works if the mesh's origin is in the middle. For example, my Toto dial has origin at the bottom. So the outlines will be scaled from there. Now of course I can shift the outline in vertex processor. But it will quickly become cumbersome because I have to tweak every material for meshes that don't have origin at the center. To tackle that, I will create a sort of post-processing shader to draw the outlines on top of the entire scene. I'm using Godot version 4.3 and I want to create a full screen shader, so I will create a mesh instance 3D node as a child of my camera. Select the quad mesh and set the size 2 meters in X and Y axis. I have set it as a child of the camera so the quad will always be visible when our game is running. Now let's create a shader and a material. Assign the shader to our material and apply the material to our quad. In the shader, I will set render mode unshaded. I don't want it to interact with lights. Now I want to visualize the effect in the editor as well. So I will directly set the vertex position in clip space using vertex processor. Position equals vec4 of vertex dot xy one one. Now this vertex position is in local space but before our quad is rendered it will be transformed in clip space by our shader. And since I overridden the position that transformation will be skipped and this will be my vertex position in clip space. Clip space will go from minus 1 to 1 in both x and y axis and that is the reason I've set the size of our quad 2 meters in both axes. So with this line my quad will cover the entire screen. But it seems like the quad has been disappeared completely. Well actually we are just looking at the back face of the quad which won't be rendered by default. So here I will go cull front. So now I'm only drawing the back face of the quad and my quad is visible over entire viewport. But when I move around it sometimes disappears. This is the editor only issue but to fix it I can increase this extra curl margin of my quad and it won't disappear anymore. Pretty cool. Now the way I will draw the outlines is via scene depth. I have an entire video about it so definitely check that out. Ok first let's create a separate function that returns scene depth in view space. Float depth vs for view space and it will take uv as an input. Now to access the scene depth from that buffer I need a depth texture. Uniform sampler 2d depth texture then I need to set the hint depth texture. Now in my depth function I will sample the texture with uv float depth equals texture depth texture uv then take any single channel now this depth will be between 0 to 1 in clip space or normalized device coordinates i'm using forward plus renderer so the actual depth range is also 0 to 1 but if you're using mobile or compatibility renderer then the actual depth range will be between minus 1 to 1 so you need to remap this value to go from minus 1 to 1 as well. Depth multiply equals 2 minus 1. But I don't have to do that. Now this depth is not linear and is in clip space. I want it in view space and want to make it linear. I can do that with inverse projection matrix. However, I don't have access to it in my custom function. So I will just create an input parameter for that. Mat4 inverse projection matrix. 
then simply go 1 divide by depth multiply inverse projection matrix third columns w component plus inverse projection matrix fourth columns w component and simply return it again all of this is explained in my depth video so definitely check that out then in the fragment processor let's call our function so depth equals depth vs then sample the texture with screen uv and pass inverse projection matrix now i have depth in view space let's just visualize it so albedo equals vec3 of depth now the way i will create the outlines is by sampling the depth texture once more but with slight offset float border r for right side equals depth vs screen uv and i want to offset it tiny bit to the right side so plus vec2 of 0 0.002 and 0 and pass inverse projection matrix then i will subtract the original depth and let's just visualize our border so albedo equals vec3 of border r and now i can see some border to the right side and the 0.002 is our outline thickness however i want to set it from the inspector so let's create a uniform uniform float outline thickness then i want it to go from 0 to 3 let's say so hint range 0 to 3 and the step size will be 0 0.01 However, this would be way too big, so let's shrink it in fragment processor. Float thickness equals outline thickness multiply 0 0.001. And this is just quality of life improvement. You can directly set the slider value to go up to your desired value, then pass it here. And I have outlines to the right side, but you can see that there is some screw up going on here. That's because my depth texture is set to repeat by default. So to fix it, after the hint go repeat disable and the issue is gone. Now just like I have created right border, I can create the left one by sampling the texture to the left side. So let's duplicate this line. I will call it border L. Then instead of plus, simply minus. And now if I visualize border L, I will have left border so I can add these two together to get both left and right outlines float outline equals border R plus border L then let's visualize outline instead now from this angle it looks complete but if I look at from the front I only have outlines for left and right sides so for top and bottom let's sample depth texture two more times duplicate this let's call it border u then here go plus vec2 of zero and thickness then once more duplicate it call it border d and instead of plus go minus finally add both of them on outline now this outline variable could go outside 0 to 1 range due to the additions and subtractions. So let's clamp it between 0 to 1. So clamp this entire thing between 0 and 1. Now I can filter out the values that are less than 1 using smooth step. But first let's create a uniform so we can tweak it from the inspector. Uniform float step threshold and I want it to go from 0 to 1 so hint range 0 to 1 and the step size will be 0 0.01 and set the default value 0 0.5 then in the fragment processor outline equals smooth step 0 step threshold and outline if you don't know what smooth step does I have an entire video about it, 
so do check it out. Basically it will return 0 if outline value is less than 0, returns 1 if outline value is greater than step threshold and any value that falls between these two will be interpolated using Hermit interpolation. Now in the inspector I can tweak the look. You could also use another uniform and smooth step to fine tune the effect. Now that I have outlines, let's color it. For that let's create another uniform, uniform rec3 outline color and in the inspector I want color picker so I will set hint source color and set the default value to black. Then in the albedo just multiply outline with color. Now in the inspector I can tweak the outline colors. Ok I have outlines but I also want to see the actual scene as well. So simply alpha equals outline. And I have nice outlines. Now if you have more complex geometry and the outline doesn't look right, you can sample the depth texture for more times for each diagonals. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button. And now before you click off, I have to warn you. The shader is slightly expensive because we are sampling the texture 5 times for essentially a full screen effect. And it also has some drawbacks like this approach won't work for transparent objects because they don't write to the depth buffer. And that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next one.